Hey, what's up, guys? It's Slipper here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And today, we're going to be reacting to the Black Ops 6 Worldwide Reveal, whatever reveal it is. But, but yeah, it's the Black Ops 6 Direct Reveal Showcase, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be reacting to that, and I'm low-key kind of excited, dude. As you guys can see, my bed's not finished. I just came home from a workout. I've been wait I I've been waiting all day for this, and I'm low-key hyped. Holy shit. Black Ops 6 Zombies via Steve Store. Oh, my God. This looks like an actual crew. This does not look like operator skins that, that have no structure and or character development at all. Holy shit. Okay. Then we have first Black Ops 6 multiplayer image appears to confirm omnidirectional movement leak. So if you guys did not know, uh, Bob Network or someone within the Call of Duty leaky community said that we're going to have omnidirectional movement, which is basically you can jump backwards, you can dive backwards, you start running left to right. And it's pretty crazy. It's just like Hell Diver. 2 and other like um horror games out there so i'm low-key kind of excited for this because dude a lot could happen with omnidirectional movement and it, it, it could be really good or it could be really bad for some players but i i personally think i was really good with it in hell divers 2 so so i'm gonna be having a ton of fun with this black ops 6 launches worldwide on friday october 25th holy shit 16 multiplayer maps at launch okay set in the early 90s this is a huge part about this tweet. I didn't really read all of it, but post-launch, players can look forward to even more exciting maps and groundbreaking experiences dropping into both multiplayer and zombies. We're going to have a lot of content for multiplayer and zombies, hopefully original maps and not just remakes. It's 300 gigabytes. Jesus Christ. Dude, I'm sweating right now from the workout, bro. I, I literally sped home. Another multiplayer image. Okay. This looks like Cold War's aesthetic, dude. I'm not going to lie, but... Oh, shit. It started. 1991. So yeah, this is the end of Black Ops Cold War. Some in-game stuff. Mustang Sally right there. That just showed up. The Illumin. I see a triangle in the middle. In-game footage and to the max. Oh my god, this is huge. Oh my god. Black Sight? I'll do Black Ops 6? I'm like actually excited. Somebody predicted that screenshot right there. Alder's back. Okay. Somebody predicted a, a couple images ago that that was going to be in game. Holy shit. That looks like Alder there. Yeah. That's the Oh my god. What the hell are we getting into? The fuck is going on? Oh shit. That's Bowman's son, right? We have a juggernaut. Oh my god. That reminds me of a Black Ops 1 mission right there. On the direction of the movement! On the directional movement! Oh my god, he's shooting while he's on the ground. <laughs> There's a motorcycle. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Dude, the game looks amazing. This is all in-game footage, by the way, and cinematics, dude. Holy crap. Oh, shit. Oh, what's a Modern Warfare 3 shit? <laughs> Tell me you can pre-order it now. Pre-order now? Let's go. I'm really excited, dude. Available October 2025, bro. Oh, 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 hold up, hold up. Is this the screen? One, two, three, four. This looks like the fifth attachment over here. This looks like an M4. There's some battle pass icon, it looks like. They show us the stats now still. Oh, that is huge, dude. Oh my God. Is there anything else? And a sneak peek at multiplayer and zombie. Oh my God. That looks like Cold War though. The the UI. I mean, obviously it's not Cold War, but TTK looks fast. Hold up, let me start. Let me see when we can start shooting. So it's thirty six. It starts hitting. So about three to four bullets. Okay, this is like a hundred health. This looks like a hundred HP. If it's three to four bullets, that's a hundred HP. It's been even longer since all Call of Duty players got the same game at the same time. Oh my God. Forward, everyone will experience the game including the Black Ops 6 beta, the season expansions, and the updates at launch. Let's go! Oh my god. 
so many people were worried when Activision got acquired by Xbox that Xbox will start having Xbox players getting the game earlier than other people. This is fucking huge. Oh my God, we could pre-order. Oh my God. Yes, dude, let's go. It's a hundred dollars for the Vault Edition. Okay, dude, this is so like huge for Call of Duty, bro, because I don't think we've seen this good of promotion and this much promotion at all. Dude, I cannot believe that this is all happening, bro. We got a Black Ops multiplayer teaser, some campaign teasers as well, gameplay footage that they openly showed, which they never fucking do. Everything that was leaked and rumored by the leakers were all true from Bob Network, everyone, dude. I'm genuinely so excited because I'm so excited because it's not going to be a regular Call of Duty game where it's the same slide, cancel, jump around, all that stuff. We're going to have new omnidirectional movement, new original maps, a whole new zombies experience, and just everything else is just absolutely insane. If you weren't hyped before, you should definitely be hyped now because this is absolutely insane, dude. The pre-order right here, if you pre-purchase, like, look at the screenshots, dude. We got Alder on a fucking bike. Alder on the same bike with a fucking pistol. Omnidirectional movement, fully confirmed. And a whole new zombies crew, apparently. So for the vault edition, that's just $100. You got Hunters versus Haunted Operator Pack. Four Operator Skins, Alder Park, Brutus, and Claws. The Mastercraft Collection. Five Mastercraft Weapons. Black Cell for Season 1. Gobble Gum Pack for Zombies. So those are back confirmed. 12 Gobble Gums of high rarities. That's absolutely insane, dude. I'm texting my cousins and my brother-in-law about this because... Listen, we used to be huge Call of Duty fans and then life hit, but since most of them have jobs now and they have free time sometimes every couple of weeks, I'm definitely going to try to convince them to buy Black Ops 6 and actually try it out. Like, look at the omnidirectional movement here. So that you guys have this guy jumping, turn back to you and start loading up the fucking gun, dude. Oh my God. You know, do you guys know how insane this could be for Warzone? Like, imagine you're chasing someone and he just, from his left, when he's looking straight at it, at a door, to the left of him is a window. He just jumps to the side and just runs away. Like, this is huge. A movement change was not needed for Call of Duty, in my opinion. But it's refreshing for Call of Duty. and makes the game way different from other past Call of Duties. And that's good. And that's a good thing. But it all depends on how you master the movement and all that stuff. For it to be good and or bad for you. So these are the operating skins you get. This is Brutus, this is Claus, this is Alder, and this is, uh... And the other chick, I forget her name, Belle, I'm pretty sure. These are the weapons. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like a VMP from uh, Black Ops 3. This looks like the Locust. This looks like a shotgun. This is an AR. Their combat knife, this is pretty cool. The Black Cell Bundle, which, okay, it's Black Cell, but the Gobble Gun Pack is, oh my god. You get early access to the Open Beta and the Woods Operator Pack, which is playable in Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, and Warzone Mobile. Okay, so this is my thoughts, because a lot of people were asking, like, what are they gonna do with Warzone, since apparently now, leakers are saying that they're not going to transfer all the Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 stuff to Black Ops 6. I think this is what's going to happen. They're going to integrate some stuff from Modern Warfare 2, from Modern Warfare 3, and other things from Black Ops 6, and put it all into Warzone when Black Ops 6 launches. And they're going to carry some operators from Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 6, and put it into Warzone. And they're only going to make some weapons and operators usable in Warzone. Wait, eight weapon attachments? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Bro, five was enough. Unless it's a wild card. Holy shit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe, do all that stuff. And let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on the Black Ops 6 reveal. And if you guys are hyped now. But yeah, peace.